we welcome in the Eastern Conference Coach of the Month, Jason Kidd of the Brooklyn Nets. He joins us now on the show. Jason, Michael, and Don, how you doing? I'm doing great, guys. How you guys doing? I'm doing all right. We're doing okay. Now, let me ask you this. What is, does this award mean anything? The first couple of months were a little rocky. The team struggled, and then they turned it around in January. Did you become a great coach in January? Uh, no, I didn't <laughs> become a great coach in January. Uh, that's still work in progress. And, I, you know, my guys, those guys in the locker room are playing at a high level, and uh, I give all that credit to those guys. Was it just a case of it just took some time to adjust to the new role and the players adjusting to you? Uh, it's a process. Uh, you know, it's a marathon. And, uh, you know, we all would love to get off to a great start, but we didn't. And, uh, you know, through the tough times, we stayed together as a team, and we worked through it. And that's the, you know, it's just a process of the, you know, 82-game uh, NBA season. I'm curious, Jason, as a player, you had the utmost confidence every time you stepped on the floor. But when things were rocky at the beginning of the NBA season and people were taking their shots at you, did you ever doubt? Did you ever say, maybe I shouldn't have taken this job, maybe I'm not ready for it? Did doubt ever creep in? No, you know, just uh, just like a player, um, you know, you're going to have uh, a time in your career or during a season or during a week or in, in one game where it can go, you know, the wrong way or go bad for you, and you just have to stay positive and continue to keep working. And, uh, you know, as a player, that's what I did. Um, people took shots at me as a player, and I didn't think it was going to change as becoming a coach. So, um, I, I love the opportunity to be able to coach the Brooklyn Nets. I'm enjoying coaching. I got a great group of guys. So, you know, no matter, uh, it won't be the last time people take shots at, at me, but, you know, I, I want to do what's best for the Brooklyn Nets and those guys that are playing. You know, whenever you talk to a coach or in baseball a manager, Jason, they always say that the toughest part of the job is not the game. The toughest part of the job is the things that lead up to the game, dealing with the media, planning, stuff like that. Would you agree? Is that the toughest part? Well, I, I think, uh, you know, you can always complain about talking to the media. Uh, <laughs> uh, but, you know, the big thing is the media is a part of the game. And, uh, you know, for me, it's having those guys prepared, giving them a, a game plan um, and making sure that, you know, they're ready to play. And, and at the same time, it, have fun doing it. And uh, there is a lot that goes along with being a coach and making sure guys are prepared. But that's just, you know, part of the job description. Is this Joe Johnson injury a concern for you, Jason? It's it's not a concern. Um, you know, we don't we wish no one would get hurt, uh, but unfortunately, we've seen a lot of injuries. Uh, you know, up to this point of the season. Um, but you know, hopefully, he feels better uh, tomorrow for practice, and uh, he can go. You know, in the next couple of games. Talking with Jason Kidd, the head coach of the Brooklyn Nets. Jason, if you look at the numbers. Kirilenko was out for a long time with the back, now with the calf, and your numbers with him playing are so much better than without him. Why does he make such a difference for your squad? Well, I think AK is, you know, he comes, he's kind of the glue. Um, he's a very uh, intelligent uh, ball player, um, does all the little things, and, uh, you know, we do, we need him. And, uh, unfortunately, he, you know, has been hurt. Uh, but when he has played for us, he's been great. What about Blatch? What did you know about him going into the season, and, and how surprised are you of his contributions? Uh, Dre has been great. You know, you talk about, uh, I, I call him another seven-footer uh, who can stretch the defense. He can put the ball on the floor. Uh, playing against Dre, he's always, you know, miss, you know, he always causes problems because he put a big on him, and he can put the ball on the floor and get past you. Uh, he can shoot the ball, and then if you put a small, he just he can get inside. He has great hands and can finish. So um, I've always, you know, seen that afar. He's a tough cover. Jason, what did you say to your team? What motivational technique did you use when and when Brooke Lopez went down? Because most NBA people said, you know what, they had a chance of doing something special with Lopez, but without him, that's a big piece to miss. But you guys have actually thrived without him after you adjusted. So what did you say to your team to convince him it wasn't over? Uh, next man up. Really. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, you know, it's that's the NBA. There's always going to be injuries. Uh, sometimes, um, you know, injuries, uh, you know, are part of the game, and some of them are longer, some are short. Uh, but, you know, I think with uh, Kevin Garnett and, and, and Blatch, Mason and Reggie, those guys, you know, are up for that challenge of trying to, you know, be a committee at the five. Um, it also helped us go small. 
to put Paul at the four and Joe at the three. And so um, those guys are playing extremely well uh, with a new role.